So uh, can I presume when you tour the world and you speak with diplomats and speak with just about anybody, you, you, have, you can see, I, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I'm asking, Go ahead. do I'm the laws of physics as you've come to know them help you think about political decisions, social decisions, economic decisions that you've made? Of course they do, yeah. And, and I've always been, as I said to begin with, I, I've always been grateful that I had a chance to study physics and then did my graduate work in, in nuclear physics and that I had a chance to teach astronomy even when I was in, uh, in college as an undergraduate. And this has helped me a lot. We go to so, places so where we- So you're in the geek club. You see, that's the geek credentials <laughs> you just expressed there. Yeah, go we, on. We, we have a lot of uh, programs in, with unsavory people that are causing problems. I go every now and then to North Korea. Uh, we've been going That's to so Cuba. so polite to call them unsafe. <laughs> we've been going to Cuba for many years. We mm -hmm. deal with uh, both sides in, in Sudan. We deal with uh, a, a man who's been uh, indicted by the International Criminal Court and who's the head of uh, the government in Sudan. We, we deal with the um, Hamas, you know, to try to bring peace between Israel and, and the Palestinians. So, and we've been with Mengistu, who's a horrible dictator in Ethiopia. So we go to people that cause problems that perpetrate human rights crimes or that create a, an unnecessary war and deal directly with them and try to induce them to be better behaviors. And also, of course, my background, I think, in, in um, as you say, the geek as aspect of life is a lot of help to me in analyzing what goes on and preparing for it.